I remember singles ads being single white female Sikhs. But why does the second word matter? What does white even mean and why is it so important that we label ourselves with a race based on the color of our skin? Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines race as any one of the groups that humans are often divided into based on physical traits regarded as common among people of shared ancestry. Race, white, black, Asian, native etc. has become a part of our personal identity. Although race is based on physical traits, it is not a real and biological thing, other than to denote the human race as a whole. The idea of race is a social construct that was created to repress people from other cultures whose outward appearance is different from ours. At the inception of American anthropology, scholars like Samuel Morton, Josiah Knott and Louis Agassiz had an agenda to set the American Negro and American natives apart from the white population to justify slavery and oppression. This began the campaign to use pseudoscience to create the social construct we call race. Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines a social construct as an idea that has been created and accepted by the people in a society. Merriam-Webster Dictionary as a social construct, race has a very real meaning in our society today. We use it to identify ourselves and others and often to make assumptions about another person's traits and ideals. Race is not biologically determined. The genetic differences between people of different so-called races is only 0.01%. Yet the idea of race has shaped American laws and its society. For the 17th century, a person's color did not determine their acceptance into a society. History shows that Africans in Europe were assimilated into those societies wherever they were found, and no significant social meanings were attached to their physical differences. Race, as a way to label people, was constructed in the United States of America in the late 17th century. By labeling African people as savages and less than Europeans, the white men could justify owning Africans as slaves. White Europeans also used this justification to label Native Americans as savages and take control of the land and subjugate the people already living there. American anthropologists, with an agenda already in place, built upon the early work of scientists like Carl Linnaeus and Johann Friedrich Blumenbach to cement rights to own slaves. These early anthropologists used skull shapes, skin color, eye shape, and other physical features to place populations into groups and attributed traits and intelligence levels to each of the created groups. Later publications, like The Bell Curve by Richard J. Herrnstein and Charles Murray used Alfred Binet's Stanford Binet IQ test to claim that racial differences in IQ are mostly determined by genetic causes. These racial inferiority supporters completely disregarded differences in socioeconomic status and education when making their determinations. Race had become a justification to keep the black population at the lowest economic and educational level. The social construct of race was created to divide the world's population and justify the suppression of non-industrialized cultures. Ethnicity was recognized as plastic and transmissible. But race conveyed the notion of differences that could not be transcended. Today's immigration has created a world where people's genetic ancestors can be from anywhere in the world. People adopt the culture of the country they live and grow in. The antiquated social construct of race no longer has any validity.